It's the story of a truly unsung hero. Dustry Cleese was a Navy pilot in the World War II Battle of Midway. At one point, he was based at what was called Naval Air Station Norfolk. You've probably never heard of him, not many have, but now everybody should learn about Cleese's heroics, all thanks to a book co-authored by an ODU history professor. Our military reporter Mike Gooding spoke to him today. He tried not to bring it up. Uh, because he just simply wanted to move on with his life like so many other World War II veterans did. Dusty Cleese tried and mostly succeeded in keeping a lid on his story, but it had to be told. And, you know, without him, you know, it is perhaps, and I, I stress the word perhaps, perhaps the Americans may not have won the fight at Midway. Cleese sunk three Japanese warships, including two aircraft carriers. He earned the Navy Cross and Distinguished Flying Cross. And arguably, he's one of the most important characters of the battle. Uh, he's the only pilot to score three direct hits uh, during the engagement. And uh, although he would probably shudder to think about this, he probably killed more Japanese sailors than anyone in the air on June 4th, 1942. Old Dominion University Associate Professor of History Tim Orr co-wrote the book Never Call Me a Hero, a legendary American dive bomber pilot remembers the Battle of Midway, bringing attention to a humble guy who didn't really seem to want it. He's not a, a household name by any way, shape, or form, uh, and this was something I think he wanted uh, for much of his life. He tried not to play up his role in the battle. Orr and his co-author wife Laura will be featured Monday, Veterans Day, on the Smithsonian Channel, talking about Dusky in a show called Battle of Midway, The True Story. As for Cleese, he retired in 1962 as a captain and went on to become a high school math and chemistry teacher in West Virginia. He lived until age 100, passing in 2016. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.